Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of the Paramedium. I'm going to be using Voidwalker, top tree of the subclass, uh, the Slova, which means I'll be using Skull of Dire Arm Car. We are going to be running the Arbalist. Uh, loaded question, bad omens. Uh, I've got rocket launcher reserves and scavenger on my armor. We've taken a 160 power handicap, which gives us a 3.85 score modifier, which is achieved with heavyweight, void singe, match game and uh, extinguish <laughs> finally uh, I decided to use the Arbalist because obviously the revelry's on at the moment I didn't expect it's perk to work uh, as intended within this because we've got match game on so it won't do as much damage against shields it can't match and it won't match any shields so we're testing it out as a weapon and I have to say it's 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 actually a really, really good addition to the, the sandbox. Uh, I watched Rick Kakis, which if anybody, any of you guys do actually follow me on Twitter, you'll you'll know why I'm kind of smirking at that reference. I'll, I'll explain in a bit. Uh, Rick Kakis done a video where he, he took it in the last word and he rated it against every boss. And I was kind of wondering how it would perform as, you know, an addition to a, night, a Nightfall Arsenal. And... I mean, yeah, it, it is really good. I just, uh, for a high score, it's always going to be... Maybe we'll try it when in one of the nightfalls where we don't have to put match game on. I think it'll be much, much better there. But uh, the reason why I'm laughing at the Rick Kakis reference is I've been trying to do this commentary. I've tried about seven or eight times. And I keep every time I mention Rick Kakis, it's, it became almost... Uh, I don't even know why I kept doing it. I just kept doing his intro. And I was I can't do that. So I actually put it on Twitter, to which Mr. Kakis re actually replied and was like, what are, you, what, what are you on about? So he was really cool about it. But uh, I've, I've got over my Kakis obsession. I don't have an obsession. It's just, everybody knows that intro, right? Anyway. You guys know the score with a starting part, part. You've got two two plates. When you drop down here, you've got four elite uh, goblins. And either a, you'll either have a sniper or, or a harpy, which will dictate what, what the two bosses are that you get at the end of the section. Once you take them out after the first plate, you'll get two of, two of the aforementioned either snipers or harpies on top of pillars at the back. And then another four harpy uh, goblin. When you do the next plate, you'll get another four goblin, then you'll get a wave of ads and two bosses. That's basically it. Obviously, with the revelry on and the revelic right, revel, revelric light, uh, we're getting what we need back really quick. So the reason I, I actually felt confident coming in basically with two specials is because my my grenade is going to be the primary, you know, effectively because I'm not going to run out of grenade energy. Other than that, I don't know if I would run for a high score on the Paramedium. I don't know if I'd run to, to effectively, two energy weapons because they both use energy ammo. So while we're going to this next section, what do you guys think of the revelry, uh, the Verdant Forest and the setup? Do, are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying the fact that it's it's infinite or do you think that there there isn't enough reason to keep going back in? I'd, I'd be interested to find out because tomorrow uh, I'm going to be releasing a video about the future of Destiny. And I'm going to be speaking about events like these. And I've got an idea. I've had an idea since I started doing it. I haven't done too many runs of the Verdant Forest. I think the first day I think I got to wave 49. And after it was like my fifth or sixth run, realized that you just get more time to kill the bosses. That's it. So I never actually went for, for wave anymore. I didn't see the point, you know. Once you get to, once you get to wave thirty, you've got more than enough time to kill the five bosses. So that's kind of what I've been doing thirty, thirty-five, and then, you know, I haven't. Once we've been getting there, I'm not rushing through, and I'm definitely not wasting my ammo. I'm keeping that for the boss room. So let me know. Let me know what your your thoughts. Do you like the idea? Are you a fan of being able to grind out armor? I mean, at this stage, do we need to? You know, the game's been out seven months. I think that, I think the Dreaming City kind of throws armor at you. Maybe not everybody wants just total, uh, uh, 
Dreaming City Armor. I, I forgot what it's called. Can't believe I forgot what the the armor's called. Uh, not everybody wants that, but I heard uh, Fire Team Chat were talking about how how uh, it's good that you can grind out different armor sets and stuff. And I was like, but the armor looks horrible, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use that when I've when I've been collecting all the armor I needed. So let me know your thoughts. Do, would you like to see some sort of progression, some sort of payoff? Because the Arbalist, you get it at, at, at you know quite an easy pace. So as you, just just quickly as you can see there, I managed to take about three quarters of that Harpy shield down. The Arbalist, when it takes down a shield, it does ma it does do a lot of damage afterwards. And I was wondering, I. I Again, I'm, I'm so bad at remembering names. The Chromatic Fire, the Warlock chest plate that gives uh, every weapon an elemental explosion. I wonder what that would do with the Arbalist. So maybe, maybe we'll try that on a different one just to see how it works. But uh, so when, when you come to this area, we, obviously we've got the Harpies. I attack nearly everything from up here. And once I've cleared this section... Uh, once I've cleared this section, then I move down. I've got a little place that just down below where I get a decent amount of decent amount of cover. We haven't got momentum on because I didn't feel we needed it, and I was proved to be correct in that assumption. We didn't need it. Uh, as you can see, I'm charging all my grenade throws. It just makes the grenade so much more so much more potent. And this little bit here, you. You can just duck in right here where I'm where I'm ducking in, and you've got cover from any harpies that want to shoot you from the left side, and you've got cover from the front. So we're all good. We didn't we didn't need we didn't need uh, momentum, and I am burning some heavy here simply because I've seen I've got heavy ammo. I've got uh, rocket launcher scavenger on, so I know I'm going to get about three rockets for my bad omens. Which the bad omens is the the procured version, the the masterwork tracking cluster. So I know with the armor set I've got on, I'm gonna get seven rockets, and I'll get three from every brick. So you can be a little bit more, maybe even a little bit more kind of open with your your heavy than I've been in this because I know you guys know this already. I'm always banging on about make sure you've got heavy. Don't run out of heavy. And obviously the the fusion rifle was really good. It's probably I, I I probably would say that the fusion rifle is my favorite. It's my favorite out of the the pinnacle weapons because it's perk. Fusion rifles aren't being spammed, so there's no hope. Which is something I'm going to be speaking about in the video tomorrow. There's no hope of it getting nerfed because nobody's running these. You know, they they're not uh, overpopulating. But this is a really, really good fusion rifle. And it it's Heinz Beans. It does what it says on the tin. It, it, that, that, uh, that initial blast that you get, uh, if you've got seven in the mag, there's no kind of, there's no charge time. If you've got seven in the mag, you will get that reservoir burst every time, which is really good. You know, the fact that you don't, you know, if that will load when you put it away and when you bring it back out. So now we're going to get seven. You know, if I was to put it away, we would get seven in the mag, which means the next time I pull it, pulled it out, I would I would get reservoir burst, which is so good for clearing ads. And it's actually really good. I've, I think I've got a, a major sp uh, spec on it. It's really good for, for majors, especially in Gambit and stuff. So, I've cleared this bit of the area out. Now we have got the taking. And as you can see, even on match game, my grenade is taking the, 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 the shield down. My rocket, sorry, is taking the shield down of the taken captain. Clear the first couple of waves out. We'll just pick this special up. And that will bring the next wave out. So because the we'll, we'll put a rocket on them, which clears the two captains once the captains are cleared it's 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 easy but you don't want to you don't want to activate this plate to a left first you want to activate activate the plate at the back and what that kind of does is you miss a wave of ads you know 
So you'll get when you activate this plate down here, you'll get a wave at this. You'll get a a boss and some scions at the at the second plate. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why bother with that when it's a high score? Well, it's time, basically, because this is a long nightfall. So you don't want to be <laughs> 20 minutes <clears throat> getting to the boss because you're trying to kill everything. You have to, and it's something something that I don't say enough about in the... So here we go, we've got Reservoir Burst, and you'll see it, it does that. You can see his health even, even going down even more afterwards. Because that reservoir burst, it can be a bit delayed, but it's such a good, such a good, uh, such a good perk. Unlike the oxygen, which, uh, just for anybody that doesn't know, the Meganora, that's, that's the perk. I seen somebody put it on Twitter and it was like, oh, people actually know what that is. I, I did know what it was. It's a, it's a prehistoric, uh, uh, dragonfly. That's the name of it. So... Very cool that Bungie have, you know, some people have looked at that and thought, how do you even say that? <laughs> what is that? Well, they've actually took a perk that and, and named it after a very big dragonfly. So it, its perk really works. The, uh, but the, the oxygen, sorry, the, the if you if you compare the oxygen to the fusion rifle, the fusion rifle's perk works perfect. I don't think the oxygen is, is really... If I'm being honest, I don't think it, it deserves the title of a pinnacle weapon. That's just that, that Meganura should just be a perk, because from, from judging by the oxygen, the oxygen doesn't exactly, you know, it's not setting the world on fire, and it's a shame, you know, it will have its place. I, I mean, I, I, I very, I, I expect, I expect Scout Rayfors to get a buff, but again, I'll speak about all that tomorrow. So. The point is, <laughs> went in a bit of a tangent there. The point is that uh, this this weapon, uh, loaded question. If you don't have it, it's a it's 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 very it's, it really is. Uh, what is it they said about them? There are legendaries that are very close to being on exotic level, the perks and the way they behave. I would say this is. I would say that this this. Uh, Fusion Rifle is very, very close to an exotic. It does a lot of damage. I've never really been a big fan of fusions, but they, they do do a lot of damage. This one does anyway. So, when you come out here, we've got a super. So, what we're going to do is take these snipers, because they will just continue to keep sniping us. And then we're going to throw one over, and hopefully get a majority of this back. And then a grenade, and that should take the two goblins out that were in front. Now what you've got to watch out for is you're going to have uh, two Cyclopses spawn on pillars left and right. And you've still got an Elite. Go, there you go, there's the... So basically, the Arbalist here, it performs as you would expect. Very powerful, very good range as well actually. It really has got... The damage fall off is quite low. You know, it doesn't... You don't lose a lot of damage from range. So... What we're going to do is those two pillars that are in front of us that the snipers were on, we don't want to go past there. Because if you go past there, you bring out the next wave of ads. So we're just going to wipe up all the ads around here. Just stick grenades and rockets on them all. I know I've got some heavy, so I can burn a few. But if I'm being honest, you want to make sure you've got, I don't know, five or six for going down, going, going down to the boss with. You should drop more when you're down there. Especially like me, if you've got heavy ammo finder on, which is one's enough. You know, you want some special ammo finder and some heavy ammo finder. So once you've once you've cleared this area, we move up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to charge a charge a grenade, throw that up there, Nova. Which, unfortunately, not only did I miss my rocket, which is poor show by me, but when I fired my, I don't know if you noticed that I fired my Nova, and was wondering why at the time. I wondered why I didn't get more heavy more Nova back. It's because the wanted enemy was there. So it's probably worth trying to take the wanted out. And three rockets will do it. You know, rockets and grenades. So we'll just clear that that up there. We're going to drop down here, get this. Get this. Uh... When you drop down here, you get two waves of goblins, three on each side. We'll get this conflux here. And we'll just clear them out. 
and just put a couple of grenades up top. Make sure you're clear. There's a, I think I've got another goblin up here. And we've got a few more. And that's that's the top area cleared. So now we can go and we can access these confluxes. You're going to get a big, uh, 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 a major. It's not quite an elite. It's not quite an ultra. We're going to get a major. Uh, I, I, what I'm doing now is, you see, I've, this this is I've ended up in the the dilemma that I I tell you guys about all the time that kind of been the butt of a few jokes. Now I've only got four rockets, so now we're going to use the arbalist to take down this uh, purifying mind. And as you can see, really I never struggled with it. I didn't expect it to, but it is a very good weapon actually. I'm 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 I'm. I'm I'll say this before we drop down here. It's a very, very good weapon. I'm just kind of... Uh, that it was so kind of easy to get. Not that it should be difficult. But I think I'd have enjoyed the forest more if I'd have more reason to go back in. That's the point I'm making. So, 15 minutes. We've stopped scoring points at the max. I'm trying to draw, draw a little bit more heavy out of these guys. And it's not working. So, I'll just put a grenade on them and go down. I think, I th I think I've got fastball on my gauntlets which means it took me a little bit to work out the the grenades because i was throwing them right past the enemies so make sure when you're doing stuff like this that you know what you've got on your gauntlets and your chest plate and stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to we've activated the plate we're going to go over to the plate that we're going to be doing first and we will put a couple of arbalists just just to get them moving just watch out for his snipey. So we've put one clip on him. And then we're going to put a rocket on him when he appears here. Get the tracking going. And as you can see, big damage. Put a grenade for for, for good measure. Only because we're going to get it back for these ads. So we'll throw a grenade here. And it'll clear most of these ads. There's one more left. Which is cool. We've got a fusion rifle for that. And then we'll charge a grenade. I was too early with this grenade. I was a little bit too early. There was nothing for it to track. So we'll throw another one. We want to clear this before we get over there. We want to clear this side before we get over there. Now he managed to teleport away. So put another grenade on top of him. He's gone. Grab the special. And I used the blink because there was no crazy jumping to be done. And I figured it would help me stay alive. You know, especially in this area. When you come to this plate, if you stay right at the front here, he can't hit you. He's just going to teleport because we've done that much damage to him. He can't hit you with anything. So I, I did think about trying to get a shot off on him, but I figured what's the point. So what we're going to do now, we're charging this grenade. As you can see, I've charged it. I'm holding it. Now we'll throw it. I was going to put a rocket, but we don't need to because the the... Grenade done its job, it took down the shield of the Minotaur and the you know, Arbalist finished them off. Very cool. I tried to be too clever there. And what we'll do is we'll go around the outside just to keep cover because we've not got momentum. Oh, there's some heavy. There we go. So now what we're going to do, we've got a rift should we need it. Right on cue. So what we're going to do here is... Activate this plate, back off the plate, still in with rift, charge the grenade, so we're going to do a charge, and then we're going to fire one over when they, there you go, and that should finish, I thought it would finish them all, but we'll just put one rocket, clear that, and that's the other side cleared as well, and we almost got one over back, so everything's reloaded, and then get behind this wall, and just you now I was lucky here I think I managed to get the plate done before he fired his his uh, his fire because it's void so and now it's going to be a quick kill because of the that you know we'll put one rocket on him which puts takes a lot of damage takes a lot of health off him we'll put one rocket right on his when he appears then he'll come to the middle and we're just going to rock it and Nova Bomb, and that is it. That's that's the, that's the kill. Very very simple. Very simple to get that kill. 
and that's all she wrote. And I actually got a service revolver uh, with kill clip and rapid fire. So not 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 too bad a, a roll. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. It's only took me... <laughs> if it hadn't have been for Mr. Carcass, I'd have probably had this done <laughs> a lot quicker. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your view, your viewership as always. And check out the video tomorrow, The Future of Destiny. Thanks a lot. Take it easy, guys. And I will see you in the next video.